hello everyone uh, welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we are going to learn using endnote so after installing uh, your endnote software if you're opening it for the very first time uh, you will see a dashboard something similar as shown so in this dashboard you have two options one is open an existing library if you already have a library and another option is to create a new library if you are creating it for the very first time for this video we will assume that we are creating a library for the very first time so we will click on this button that says create a new library and when you click on this button it will ask you uh, the location where you want to save the file it is always better that uh, you save your android library in a particular folder so let us create a new folder and give it a name uh, learn endnote uh, and save the library with a particular name let's say lithium ion batteries you need to click on the save button following this endnote library will open by itself and the dashboard of the endnote looks like this this dashboard uh, can be divided into four different parts which i will be uh, explaining briefly in a while okay so after establishing uh, the endnote uh, uh, library the first step will be to download the references and to upload them to endnote for this video, I will be downloading references from Science Direct uh, of, the, uh, of the very uh, document that I'm working on, which is the market analysis of lithium ion batteries. So uh, after searching it, uh, now uh, let's select uh, 10 different references uh, and uh, considering them, these 10 different references are, are uh, going to be the part of the uh, citations that we are going to uh, put in our uh, document. And after selecting uh, them, them uh, you need to uh, click on this export button, uh, which will give you different options uh, for how you want to download these references. Since uh, we are using EndNote and for EndNote, it is recommended to export this file as uh, RIS format, RIS format. So uh, we need to click export citation to RIS. After doing this, it will ask you uh, where you want to save the file. It is recommended to download these, uh, uh, this file into a folder where Android library is saved. So we will be saving the RIS file into the folder uh, where we have uh, saved the Android library. And after downloading the references, the next step will be to export these references into EndNote, uh, for which you can go to the folder where you have downloaded uh, the RIS file and double click on the file. By doing this, all of your uh, references uh, will be exported to EndNote in this way. And it might take some time depending upon how many references you are exporting. So now you can see that all of the references are exported to EndNote. Now the citation becomes super easy. Uh, suppose we want to insert citation uh, in this very uh, part of the document, which says that um, revolutionizing the way we uh, power our modern world. So all you need to do is to put your cursor here and then go to the end node and select the reference you want to insert. And then we click on this button, uh, which is used for the citation. So when you click on this button, uh, uh, your references uh, will be inserted and the library um, in, in the case of reference uh, or the bibliography will be updated on the same time. And if uh, I want to uh, insert, let's say four or five different references on this very particular part of the document. So what I can do is to uh, go to the end note again and select uh, five different or four different references. And uh, we can select different one by pressing the control button on the keyboard and then click on the um, references that I want to insert. So then again, I will click on this citation button and in this way, all of the references will be added into the uh, document. So now uh, we can see that uh, these five different uh, references are added. And apart from this, our bibliography is also developing by itself uh, in the document. So this is uh, automatically um, happening in EndNote. You don't need to put your uh, references here. You don't need to write about them. So the next thing is, let us say that we want to change the, these uh, reference styles. So and this is the author and date, and we want to change it into some other uh, referencing style. So what we need to do is to go to this option, which is EndNote, and then you click on this one, and then it says like the style, the option, and then then it says author and date all you need to do is to click on this very little arrow and it will op uh, open uh, different um, uh, citation or the referencing uh, uh, you know styles so for example if you want to uh, go with the number one so all you need to do is to click on this one and it will automatically change all of the references by itself and your referencing uh, bibliography or the references will also uh, start to develop by itself so in this way you can uh, change uh, to different styles as well and for example let's say that uh, we want to uh, go with uh, let's say this one APA 7 so all you need to is click on this one and your referencing style will also change so this is the way that uh, in which you can uh, change the referencing style and uh, okay so now let us consider a last final case in which we are reading uh, a particular document in the pdf format or a book or something and we want to uh, insert that uh, very uh, document or the uh, reference in uh, as in our citation so what we need to do is uh, let's suppose i want to uh, take this article as in, and insert it into the citation using google scholar so what i need to do what is I need to, to do is to open a uh, uh, google scholar first and uh, uh, then uh, I will search this document. Uh, in, in, so I will open the Google Scholar, and uh, after opening the Google Scholar, I will put the name of this very particular article, and then search it uh, on the 
on the uh, on the Google Scholar. So I will see uh, the article is here. So from here you can see this, there is an option which says site. So I will click on the site button, and it will. Uh, and if I uh, go down, I, I will see different uh, different referencing styles, uh, those uh, referencing softwares. So I will click on this endnote, and when I click on this endnote, it will give me an option where I want to. Uh, save this uh, new format of the endnote. So I can click on this uh, save as button and go to the same folder and then uh, save the, this very particular um, uh, this very particular file. And then I can uh, go again and uh, I will refresh it. And now I will double click on this one so that this uh, very reference is also going to be a part of the uh, endnote uh, library. So now this uh, uh, document is, uh, the reference is um, uploaded into the endnote. Um, remember the case that uh, previously we have uh, done uh, 10 different articles and now we have 11 different references. So I can see from here in the endnote library that I, I have total 11 references and I am using a document in which um, uh, I have put six references from these 11 references uh, in, in this video. And the uh, important references, this is the important references, so it will show you the newly important references. And if I delete some reference, uh, it will go into the uh, trash button as well. So uh, uh, this is the brief introduction of this bar. So let us uh, consider now we want to add this very particular um, uh, reference. So I will select it and I will go to my document and let's say I want to uh, add this very uh, reference here. So I, what I need to do is to, uh, to select this one and again go and click on this uh, very uh, option and it will uh, upload my uh, reference by itself. So in this way, my uh, library uh, uh, of the endnote will keep on updating and I will uh, keep on uh, adding the references. And this is a very uh, a good way, this is a very easy way of inserting the references. So thank you very much and uh, see you in the, another video of the endnote in which I will be explaining about uh, the different parts of endnote uh, that uh, how we can effectively use this part, how we can effectively use this part, and how we can effectively use uh, that very portions and uh, this very portion of the endnote because uh, I'm, uh, we will be going into different sets of the video rather than one long video. So thank you very much uh, for taking your time and see you in the next video. Kindly uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and uh, do put a comment if you think uh, there should be something I am making a video or uh, there's any suggestions or feedbacks. So thank you very much and